Hello, Dizzy is still here at the microphone, and in this video, I'll tell you everything about the Desert Biome and Dynas.io. And if you're still not aware of my discount promos, make sure to use any of them to get a 20% discount on all donations in Dynas.io. The link to the web shop and promo codes is in the description. Also, I want to say thank you to everyone who comments on my videos, and I ask you to give a like. Let's see how many we can gather, as this will help push the video to the top and bring new players to Dynas.io, which will motivate the developers to release updates even more often. Leave a comment under this video, and you'll have a chance to win three days of premium, just like in the last video where this lucky person won, results in a week. Good luck. The desert biome is the hottest in Dynast with unique mobs, resources, and events, and therefore it has its own temperature indicator. Once the temperature reaches its maximum, the player will start taking damage, and if they don't escape in time, will die. To prevent this, you need to have a cap or a cactus hat with you. These two items will help you stay in this biome much longer. Additionally, when leveling up stars, you can choose a skill that makes you more heat resistant. For full convenience, if you want to build a base here and survive until night without leaving, you should know that the temperature drops at night, allowing you to move freely. Ideally, you need to build a refrigerator, but to make it work, you need to collect snowballs from the winter biome. Only then can you ignore the heat. With either of these hats and a heat resistant star, if you don't have a refrigerator nearby, just keep an eye on the thermometer and time your exit from the biome to cool down before returning. This biome is the most efficient for farming. You get more experience from mobs here than in the forest biome. And you only need a level three account to unlock the cap crafting recipe and gather 60 webs to create it. Once you have that, you can venture into the desert. Since the mobs here are stronger, I recommend bringing a crossbow to keep your distance. Now let's talk about the resources in this biome. The desert biome is rich in cacti, gold, and copper ore. You can also find stones and some wood from thorns. But be careful, as cacti and thorns cause minor damage upon contact. If you want to destroy all the thorns in the desert, you can simply burn them, saving your precious time and health. By the way, cacti are unique to this biome. You can use them to build cactus walls, and they are useful for those with cactus recipes. If you're waiting for the cactus event, type in the chat. Let's take a look at the inhabitants of the desert biome. You can encounter turtles here, which will never attack you first and drop bones and meat. The rest of the mobs will always attack first. Let's review them. You can find regular spiders, which drop webs, and red spiders, which drop dust. Mollocks drop meat and bones. Buffaloes drop meat, bones, and fur. Skeletons drop only bones. Remember that each of these mobs has a small chance to drop coins and chests, with coins being more common. Uh, some treasure chests, including demonic ones, spawn in this biome during the demonic event. The desert biome has two machines located here and here, hidden behind thorns. You know what to do, burn them. Is everybody in the world Please Lord, give me a to be the greatest everybody on the face shit i look around and feel like everybody is the fakers i make this every day and i'm impatient hoping one day i blow up from the basement statement there is also one altar located here if you lead mobs to it it will give you twice the resources and cool effects a video about the altar will appear in the suggestions now if you haven't seen it yet check it out it will be useful overall both solo players and teams can survive in this biome you'll have to get used to stronger monsters but you won't have to worry about random players near your base as you would in the forest biome Bases are traditionally built at the lower edges of the map, making it harder for raiders to siege you since the temperature greatly hinders them. Players often fail to monitor it, running out of the biome at the last moment, which complicates and delays raids. The best place for a base is the bottom left corner as it allows you to secure two sides and concentrate on fortifying the remaining two, building significantly more walls and towers where needed. Well, that's probably everything. If I miss something, write it in the comments to increase your chance of winning the promo giveaway. Be sure to like and subscribe. This was Still Dizzy at the microphone. Bye-bye.